everyone and welcome back to our channel uh, for another edition of Explain a Fandom You Don't Know. I'm Becky. And I'm Chloe. So in this video, we haven't done one of these in a while, actually. I think it's been like a year <laughs> since yeah. we've done an Explain a Fandom video. Uh, so basically, uh, one of us is familiar with the fandom or the series, whatever it is. The other one is not. So we will show the clueless person some pictures of the characters from the series. And the other person will try and explain what they think the character is or what they do based only on the photo and whatever prior knowledge they may or may not have. So today, uh, Chloe is going to be explaining the Dresden Files book series, which is one of my top favorite book series. And I thought it would be appropriate right now to do this because the 16th book, Peace Talks, is finally coming out this year. And this year is also the 20th anniversary of book one. So it's the year of Dresden, as they're calling it. A little disclaimer before we get started. Um, I arranged the characters in order of appearance by book instead of like importance of character because I didn't want to like give away who might be an important character. So why don't you just tell me what you think the series as a whole is about? Okay, so I don't know if this is cheating, but on one of your stories on Instagram, you have po you had posted the cover of the book, and there was something on there that said, this is like Buffy the Vampire Slayer meets some other thing, and I didn't know what the other thing was, but I'm a big Buffy fan. So based off of that comparison and just what Becky has told me, I'm guessing it's about people that are fighting demons or monsters or something but like in more of like the modern day type of world um and not not like olden times but like the present day but there's magical creature i know there's demons because your animal crossing island is demon reach and that's from this so <laughs> there's definitely demons i don't know if you're fighting the demons or you're fighting something else so <laughs> all right so as we go through each character i'm going to be scoring her based on like certain important elements that she may or may not name about each character and we'll see what her overall score is at the oh end. Oh boy. So <laughs> let's go. Just shall I start with Mr. Dresden, assuming this is Mr. Dresden. Um, pretty hot to be <laughs> honest. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I feel like he, he looks like he could be in olden times. So based off of uh, Becky, what she told me was that he's a wizard and therefore he can't use electricity. I guess he's a wizard or some sort of magical person. And I'm gonna guess that he's hunting the demons or fighting the demons or whoever you're supposed to be fighting in this uh, world, whatever the bad things are. Maybe because he's a wizard? I don't know. I don't know how many wizards there are in this world. Yeah, so he's some kind of magical person that is hunting bad things, I guess is the... <laughs> is the summary and his house is full of rugs that's the other <laughs> random knowledge that i have i'm gonna assume this is the lady whose name i forgot whoever becky's ship is and i believe becky also said that she was a police police officer or something or detective or something like that i'm gonna guess that she's probably a human and maybe she's helping him and they both want to fight bad things like a x-files like scully and Mulder type of relationship where they're kind of like partnered up but they kind of don't really want to be because they have different views of things but it's still kind of flirtatious even though they're like arguing all the time or if it's more of like a Roy Reza type of relationship where they're like we're supporting each other this is a skull is this a character I mean it's a picture of a skull so I'm guessing the skull must be a character because why else would it be here so I'm guessing maybe it talks Maybe it gives him advice, I don't know. This must be his house, right? Because there's candles and he's got some like titty magazine there too. I guess I guess he has a skull buddy. Maybe the skull gives him information, I don't know. Okay, another lady who looks very suspicious with her camera. She's like creeping around the corner with her, her camera. I feel like she looks sketchy, but I don't know if she's like evil sketchy. So maybe she's like a news person and she's trying to like get pictures of supernatural things. Okay, another guy. Hmm, he's in a suit. Looks decently normal and not scary. Could be a bro. Could be a rival. Could be evil. Just uh, unsuspecting, unassuming. But uh, I'm just I'm just gonna go with bro for now, since he looks pretty nice. All right, we've got a dude with sword that looks very angry and like got a fucked up face. So either evil or like 
anti-hero. Like, I'm gonna do what I want. Um, like, leave me alone. Let me live my life. I'll fight you. Like, doesn't want to be messed with. Doesn't want to be involved. Maybe he helps out sometimes. But he's like, grr. <laughs> oh god, jeez. Becky, what is this? It's like you a tell fairy me. thing with like a cupcake on their head. Um, it's a little, little pixie uh, person. Um, they've got like combat boots and like a cupcake head. And uh, a little little uh, bottle cap shield and they're ready for battle. So I'm, I'm gonna assume that this is also a bro, but like the annoying one that you don't really want to help you, but they're there anyway and you can't get rid of them. I'm gonna assume that's what this is, which is like really anime of them, to be honest. <laughs> okay, very scary uh, creature lady. Either It's either like recurring villain character or like uh, kind of started off evil, but like not actually evil and maybe helps sometimes later on. I don't know, like I feel like she looks really scary, so I feel like she must have been involved with evil at some point, but maybe she's not evil anymore. Oh, is this the vampire? Or oh, he has wolves. Is this a werewolf? He looks really like a normal person. Like, oh, this looks like y your neighbor Steve werewolfing <laughs> out or something. Like, I don't know. <laughs> it has fangs. So I was gonna say, is this the vampire man? But there's wolves behind him. So I'm gonna guess this is a, a werewolf of some sort or some kind of wolf, wolf related beast. Could be evil, but could also be a bro. He, he's just so nerdy looking that I feel like he wants to use his wolf for good. I'm gonna- I'm gonna say he's a bro. Oh, is this Doctor Strange? What? It's Doctor Strange in the Crusades. What? So I don't know if this is olden times or it's modern times and he's just like, I'm just gonna wear- this is what I'm gonna wear uh, with his glowing sword. I don't know, I don't trust his like cavalier outfit and cape. I feel like he could be bad. Like the leader of some kind of organization that like wants to bring back the bad things from the past or something. Oh. <laughs> That's probably really wrong based off Becky's reaction. Oh my god, what is this? This is like a romance cover. Like his shirt is busting open. He's like, oh! Like, this is so dramatic. I guess he has a gun? Is that what's off screen? Yeah, yeah. This is very, like, debonair looking, looking dude. I feel like maybe he's like the rival. This could be rival Coon right here. Like, he comes in like, oh, Mr. Dresden, I'm the hot one. Like, everyone wants to help me instead. Look how glamorous I am with my sword and my gun and my shirt popping open, which is also very anime of them. Just like, ah! <laughs> Other fairy or elf person um, that looks pretty seductive because her titties are coming out and her leggies coming out. So maybe, maybe love interest or maybe just seductive person that's evil that's trying to get you, get him to do something with, uh, being seductive so yeah kind of suspicious i would say maybe not a good doesn't look like a good person she looks pretty devious her face oh uh, a buff old farmer he looks like um kind of angry so i feel like maybe he's like a grumpy old man and like doesn't really want to help you out but he will in the end anyway okay we got another lady with uh chains glowing chains and a wand so she's she has some kind of magic because she's got like a wand going on and um i don't know what the chains are that's kind of suspicious maybe she catches like ghosts in the chains or something or creatures i guess either part of the crew or could be part of rival coons rival coons crew <laughs> if there's a rival crew Okay, these are two people. Am I talking about oh, both right. of them? Or I am I like picking that one? Be, that was supposed to be part of my disclaimer that I forgot. So some of them, yeah, to save time slash space, I guess, I combined certain characters that are like very closely affiliated or like, you know, show up together. So have some sort of like affiliation. So they're either banging or they're related. <laughs> 
Which they don't really look related, so maybe they're banging. <laughs> that that blonde guy looks really full of himself. Doesn't seem great. And he's also in old timey clothing, like the guy that I said was evil, so I'm gonna say he's sketch. And the, but the lady kind of looks like the other one that you cause tested, which um, I don't know what she's about, but sad human lady. I think she's the one banging the vampire, but I don't know if they're actually banging, so. <laughs> This- this girl in the back is wearing panties! Like, what- <laughs> What's going on? Oh my god, can you see her nipples too? Yeah. Forget. I mean, it's either that she's very, like, feminist and she refuses to wear a bra, or she's like, I seduce people. And that's her goal. And her power. So, one of those two things, if not both. <sighs> and then- possible other lady that Becky was cost testing and not the other one. So I guess the other one's just banging Nightman and their sketch and maybe this one is the one you were being. Um, which she also looks kind of seductive but in a more classy way than just like brawless tits out. <laughs> and then there's like an old fuck behind them that I'm not sure if it's a man or, or a woman but I'm guessing they're all um, working together for some reason. They're in some kind of like organization. There's some kind of crew. <laughs> And um, they also seem pretty devious, so I don't know, maybe they're also antagonistic or start off antagonistic and then become bro. Oh god, we got a machine gun dude <laughs> and his little child, maybe. <laughs> maybe that's his child. Um, this guy looks also angry, but he's not wearing old-timey clothing, he's wearing modern clothing. And I said the old-timey ones were the evil ones, so maybe he's good and he's trying to fight against them. And he has a sad little child that's going to school or something. Scientist? Scientist, bro. Or doctor? Could be doctor, bro. He's got gloves. Could be, could be doing an autopsy on the demons. Friendly looking dude. He's busting through the wall. Um, he's also got a sword. But he looks like he's trying to help you. Maybe. Is he trying to help you or is he trying to lead you into the fire? I don't know. Damn. I don't know how I feel about him. He's rescuing you. He's a bro. He's a- he's a homie. Okay, this guy must be evil because he has a shadow coming out of him. So I mean, the shadow maybe is like his true self that is showing his evilness. By day, he's a businessman and by night, he eats people or something. This girl has like two-toned hair? She looks like Todoroki. <laughs> She- she's also doing something with, like, magic, and there's, like, skeleton things, so maybe necromancy? She- is she necromancing them, or is she just killing them? Or is she using the dead souls to help her fight? I'm gonna say necromancy, bro. Um, dog? Magic dog? Magic dog, bro. <laughs> Another seductive naked lady? I'm sensing a theme here. There's a lot of uh, seductive ladies with their boobs out. Uh. She's got blood. She's got bloody swords. So I'm gonna say um, probably evil. She's probably coming after you. He looks like he's in Star Wars or something. <laughs> on the on the left. I'm assuming it's a guy on the left and a girl on the right, but I don't really know. And um, apparently they have a relationship to each other because they are appearing together. So I'm gonna say. Um, Again, it's either siblings or they're fucking. It's one or the other. Those are the only um, options. Those are the only options. I mean, they could be like, ch I don't know, childhood BFFs, but I feel like that means you're gonna be fucking in the future if you're childhood BFFs, right? Like, <laughs> those are the only options. I mean, he looks pretty ha happy, but he's also in the old timey clothes. So I'm gonna say they're helping out that first Doctor Strange guy and they're his bros. Um, okay, am I judging both of these people? Uh, no, or just what? the guy in the background. I mean, I okay, mean, so the guy me, in the front doesn't matter? Well, I mean, you can tell me what you think this- He's gonna- he's gonna die. You can tell me what you think this scene is, in, is about? I mean, someone is coming up menacingly behind someone else. Yes. There's a skull there. There's a- there's a skull. <laughs> there is a so skull. So is this mis- is this Mr. Dresden? Who? In the front? Maybe. The guy in the front. Could be. Someone's coming after him. Which looks like could be the Doctor Strange guy, because he's got the beard and old-timey clothing. So I'm gonna say it's one of his bros. Or him, but he wouldn't be on here twice, so maybe it's his brother. I don't know. They're evil. Oh, is that the end? Okay. 
<laughs> oh my god. I feel like god. I just made up my own book from that. Oh my god. <laughs> you sure did. <laughs> What's count, my score? Let me count up. Uh, out of what though? I need to know what the maximum well, was. Well, so I was going for like three three points for each character. So I gave you like half points for some things, but I had to give you a solid minus one for one. <laughs> All right, so the score that I'm gonna give you is 31.5 out of 75. 42% accuracy. <laughs> okay, so that means I got an F. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess it would be like four out of 10. Okay, that's that's okay. Mm. That's okay. That's all right. I got some points. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> Tell us how you think Chloe did, in your opinion. Um, <laughs> or would you free. have scored me better than <laughs> Becky did? Uh, well, thanks for participating. Thank you for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time. Yeah. Bye. Bye.